A few days ago, a friend of mine sent me a short story that had been written by artificial intelligence. With just a few prompts, the AI had produced for him an extremely well-written piece that was both interesting and coherent. Now, I'm sure many of you have played around with the likes of ChatGPT at this point, or made use of AI art. I think the issue with the use of AI for something like creative writing or even producing articles, essays, or blog posts, is that the output is all based upon extrapolation and synthesis as opposed to ingenuity, originality, creativity, and spontaneity. The artificial intelligence programs aren't really intelligent at all. They merely give us the impression they are by the proficiency of their output and the competence by which they can imitate human writings. The AI can simulate the structure of a narrative and a plot outline, even dialogue, but it can't think critically, so it's not going to understand how to make meaningful creative choices. It's not going to understand the importance of character development, appropriate story arc payoffs, and depth. It can't produce spontaneous plot developments, twists, and turns that will be all that surprising because it's merely composing a new story through amalgamation and approximation of other works. As a result, many of the quote-unquote creative choices it will make in a story might seem predictable at best, or arbitrary or sometimes inappropriate at worst. That's because there's no actual thought, heart, or sentiment behind what the AI is doing. It understands how to parse and reconfigure large amounts of information in a competent and technical manner, but it lacks the ability to innovate, and sometimes what it comes out with won't be all that coherent. I'll give you one example of the use of AI in creative writing. I've often thought, if you're a successful author, and you've written many fiction novels, for example, maybe you've published 10 books in your crime thriller series, and you're about to sit down and begin writing book number 11. You've got a fantastic idea in mind for the story, but you just couldn't be bothered taking months or even a year to write 250 to 400 pages. It must be tempting to take your 10 existing books, maybe in PDF form, upload them to an AI, and then simply write a few pages of notes and prompts for the AI as instructions. You give it the new plot outline, and all of the main character moments, and then you get the AI to basically write most of the book by analyzing the first 10 books in the series and essentially riffing off of those to produce a new work that's largely derivative of the previous ones. The AI has an enormous amount of character dialogue, scenes, character material, and environment descriptions and content to draw on from those first 10 books. It can keep the style, tone, and feel of the series by drawing on the books. Where the originality comes in is from the author's prompts, and of course the author can edit and modify whatever the AI produces. You, the author, might also do this one chapter at a time, writing a few pages of prompts per chapter. The AI does all of the laborious hard yards, taking out all of the time-consuming writing, while you, the author, are essentially just writing an overall story outline and summary. When the AI has finished its work, you can then make changes, edit, format, fix issues here and there, add new stuff, take stuff out, lots of chopping and changing, nips and tucks here and there. You can add additional story elements if you choose, but overall, what you're left with is a brand new novel in your ongoing crime thriller series and it was produced in a fraction of the time it would have taken to painstakingly write the whole thing by yourself. This might be an effective way of producing a new book, and if the author manages to put enough of their own spin and gloss on the AI's work, then they can truly make it their own, and there would be no way for us, the readers, to know that an AI was involved at all. The problem with this method is that it reduces the human involvement in the writing process somewhat. Writing a novel in its entirety is a skill, and if you're not physically writing the novel yourself, then that's a skill you're not using or developing. Now some people might argue the AI method I've described here is perfectly reasonable, because ultimately the AI is nothing more than a tool to simplify, streamline, automate, and accelerate the writing process. I mean, the AI is basically working as a ghostwriter. 
allowing the author to take shortcuts and making the writing process more efficient. The creative ideas and story summary of the author is still required, at least, and that's true. If the prompts and notes given to the AI aren't interesting and clever, then the story is only going to be an unoriginal copy and paste of the previous books in the series. Essentially a recycling of the previous stories, a rehashing of the earlier books. I suspect in time some readers will want more authenticity, and there might one day be these little labels placed on books saying something like, no AI was used during the writing of this novel. Kind of like the organic label on fruit and vegetables in a grocery store. Some people would prefer not to eat GMO. Likewise, some readers would rather not read a book produced in whole or in part by an AI. They want to know a human soul was behind the creation. As I've said before, if machines are doing blue-collar work, and now increasingly replacing white-collar jobs with AI, and now even taking creative jobs, what purpose is left for human beings? Perhaps nothing more than managers and maintainers of AI and automation systems. Doesn't sound particularly appealing to me. But we have to ask what effect AI writing will have on Hollywood. There's a writer strike right now, as you probably know, and I don't see a simple solution to this problem. In fact, I suspect AI will be an everyday working tool that a writer will use in their workflow. A lot of Hollywood films and TV shows feel very generic and derivative and unoriginal. AI could probably easily replace many of the screenwriting jobs out there, and I don't mean to sound unkind. I would prefer if AI writing wasn't a thing, actually. I'm not a fan of replacing human beings with machines, but I would also prefer if Hollywood writing was a lot better than it currently is. AI writing could easily be implemented for big, long-running franchises where the emphasis has been just produce as much new content as possible. Entire seasons of TV shows could be churned out by AI in minutes, requiring only some basic human prompts and oversight to fix and format the material where needed. AI is actually kind of ideal for the tasks of creating content for such big franchises because it's so suitable for creating derivative works. So many superhero and big generic action films, for example, are very similar to each other in terms of basic plot structure that AI could easily create such works that require low amounts of originality. The AI genie is well and truly out of the bottle now. And I just cannot see Hollywood studios not wanting to take full advantage of the cost-saving benefits of this technology. Almost nothing will be the same again when it comes to creative writing, certainly at a professional level, but I have to say this kind of future does not thrill me. The idea that human beings will be instructing AIs to do more and more of the intellectual and creative heavy lifting is likely a recipe for cognitive decline and indeed cultural stagnation. Let's just hope that in this brave new world, that something of the human spark of imagination can endure. So guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Let me know your thoughts on AI and its potential impact on creative industries. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to support my work, please do so. Head on over to Subscribestar. The link is in the description box below. For as little as $1 a month, you can help to keep the show going. Thanks again. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.